Hello and welcome to King of the Castle, the game where brains really do mean that someone's going up in the world and that quick thinking will put the others down and out. It's a vicious battle for intellectual supremacy where only the mentally fittest will survive. So let's meet today's nine seeking our quiz crown. They are Giulio Sioni, a financial analyst from South Oxy, Jan Stein, a medical receptionist from Edgware, Clive Sims, a music researcher from Upper Norwood, Heather Jones, a collateral specialist from Surbiton, Tony Panic, a footwear retailer from Barkingside, Shelley Main, a domestic technician from Enfield, Pete Vernon, a retired electronics engineer from Farnborough, Lorna Fletcher, a housewife from Finsbury Park, and Dave Bednam, a student from South Woodford. Let's get on with the game. In round one, all of the questions are on the buzzer. Buzz in with a correct answer, and you win the right to enter our multi-level quiz zone. Buzz in with the wrong answer, and you're not even allowed to attempt the next question. Seven of you are going through. Quite simply, the first seven to give me a correct answer. Two of you will be staying down and out. Fingers on the buzzer, let's start. The name of which European cultural movement of the 14th to 16th centuries means rebirth? Pete. Renaissance. Correct. You're the first to win your place in our game zone. London Zoo took delivery of its first male elephant in 1867. Its name has come to mean anything of a large size. What was it called? Tony. Jumbo. Jumbo's correct. You're in. Which British cartoon character lived at 52 Festive Road, London, and often visited a magic costume shop? Heather. Mr. Ben. Mr. Ben's correct. You're through. Belladonna is another name for which poisonous plant? Clive. Deadly Nightshade. Deadly Nightshade's right. You're in. Which Kent-born pop star's first solo number one hit was Everything I Own? which he released after leaving the recently reformed culture. Julio. Boy George. Hesitation, but you're right. Boy George, you're in. With viewing figures of nearly 24 million, the most watched single programme of 1998 was England's last World Cup match. Who was it against? Dave. Germany. Germany's wrong. You missed the next question. It's a dangerous time to make that mistake. There are only two places left. There are four of you competing. Which fast food chain opened its first London restaurant in 1974? Shelley. McDonald's. McDonald's, right, you're in. All back in play, one place to play for, three of you competing. Born Eric Arthur Blair in 1903. By what name do we know the author of Animal Farm and... Lorna. George Orwell. George Orwell is correct. Lorna, you're the last to take your place in our game zone. It's a knockout game, and Dave and Jean, you're the first two to be knocked out. But thanks for playing. The seven heirs apparent to be king of the castle today are Lorna, Julio, Heather, Pete, Tony, Clive, and Shelley. I have two questions for you each, which I'm going to ask in the order in which you entered the game zone. So, Pete, that means you'll have the chance to go first. But now it gets nasty because a correct answer either wins you the right to move yourself along or up, or an opponent along or down. But like the king in a game of chess, you can only move one space, diagonally or straight, at a time. You'll notice that the top spot's not in play yet, but I must warn you, any of you remaining on the lowest level at the end of this round is in serious danger of being eliminated, because at least one more of you is going to be down and out. Let's play. Pete. Who did Tony Blair succeed as leader of the Labour Party? John Smith. John Smith is correct. What do you want to do? Uh, up. Tony. Which French named dish of puff pastry cases with a sweet or savoury filling is translated as flight in the wind? The answer is volavant. Heather. Which member of Duran Duran married a supermodel and was almost killed in a yachting accident in 1986? Simon Le Bon. Simon Le Bon's correct. Your move. Straight up, please. Clive. In 1919, the first passenger air service between two international cities began. One was London. Which was the other? Paris. 
Paris is correct. Your move? Diagonal left. Julio, what is a hygroscope used to measure? Wind. No, it's humidity. Shelley, Jahangir Khan is the most successful player in the history of which racket sport? Squash. Squash is correct. Your move. Diagonal left. Thank you. Lorna, what was the first name of Mrs. Simpson, the wife of Edward, Duke of Windsor? Wallace. Is correct. Your move. Diagonally right, please. Pete. Which Israeli city is the country's chief commercial, financial and industrial centre? Uh, Tel Aviv. Tel Aviv is correct. Where do you want to go? Up. Tony, which structure opened to the public in Greenwich last year and has the same volume as 1,100 Olympic swimming pools? Millennium Dome. The Millennium Dome is correct. Your move. Diagonal left. Heather. In which Russian novel does Raskolnikov kill a pawnbroker for her money? Crime and punishment. Clive, which American civil rights leader and Nobel Peace Prize winner was assassinated in Memphis in 1968? Dr. Martin Luther King. Dr. Martin Luther King is correct. It's your move. Straight up, please. Julio. Still down in the danger zone. The singers Lorna Luft and Liza Minnelli are the daughters of which 1940s and 50s singing superstar? Judy Garland. Judy Garland is correct. What do you want to do? I'll move Heather down, please. Shelley. Used in the classification of women's stockings, which unit of weight is equal to one gram per 9,000 metres? Pass. It's denier. Lorna, which London-born heavyweight boxer won the world title at his fourth attempt in 1995? Lennox Lewis. Is incorrect. Frank Bruno. We're going back on the buzzers now. Same rules as round one apply. If you buzz in with a correct answer, you can make one of your legitimate moves. Buzz in with a wrong answer and you're barred from attempting the next question. All fingers on buzzers. What was the first single to be released from Madonna's new album? <coughs> Clive. Music. Music is correct. Your move. Pete down, diagonal left. Founded in 1961, which London-based human rights organisation was awarded the Nobel Peace Prize? Pete. Amnesty International. Amnesty International is correct. Your move. Up. Which Mexican bird, also known as the chaparral cock and the ground cuckoo, is so called because... Pete. Uh, the Roadrunner. The Roadrunner is correct. Where do you want to go? What do you want to do? Uh, Tony, down. The highest print order for a work of fiction in the United Kingdom was three million for a paperback edition of which D.H. Lawrence novel? Clive. Lady Chatterley's Lover. Is correct. What do you want to do? Shelley, down left. The sky is divided up into 88 constellations, but which one is popularly known as the Crab? Pete. Uh, cancer. Cancer is correct. What do you want to do? Clive down. Which London football team does the sitcom character Alf Garnet support? Tony. West Ham. West Ham is correct. Your move. Straight up. The first dentist in London was appointed in 1799 to a hospital which takes its name from a philanthropic publisher. What is the hospital called? Just on the bell, Shelley. St Thomas's. Is wrong. You're precluded from attempting the next question. The answer is guys. Everybody else, fingers on the buzzers. At which London attraction would you find the Great Fire of London still burning? Clive. Madame Tussauds. Is incorrect. You should have waited for the full question. The answer is the London Dungeon. And that is the end of the questions in this round. With three on the lowest level, that means we have a tiebreaker. It's a question on the buzzer. If you get it right, you go through. If you get it wrong, you go out. All three fingers on the buzzers, Julio, Heather and Shelley. What is 70% of 200? Heather. 140. 140 is correct. Congratulations. Heather, 
you go through. To the victor, the spoils.